All right, what's going on, Aries? My name is Gabrielle de la Garza, and basically, I'm gonna be doing your reading today. Um, today, tonight. <laughs> uh, so I'm from Long Island, New York, and I'm gonna try to do it mostly clairvoyantly. So I've noticed that, like, recently, I've been getting like a lot of clairvoyant messages, and I'm gonna use the cards as like clarifiers or in addition to etc but for the most part like i've been getting it just all natural so it's a little dark i prefer to do things at night um it's a little easier quieter okay so aries <laughs> we're starting with you because you insisted on being first you insisted on being number one like originally it wasn't gonna be you first Aries you're definitely getting back into something you are starting something old but new old and new I feel like that makes sense to you something's old and new to you um, I do not own any of the music that's playing or anything to do with it it's not mine <laughs> I just want to throw that out there they always copyright me so anyway, I feel like I have so many messages for you. Um, I feel like I'm really giddy right now. I feel like you're really giddy. I feel like, okay, something definitely like comes out of left field for you guys. Like out of nowhere, like just you get news and it's not good news. And it kind of throws you, but I feel like it's a test. So if you get this like weird news that kind of like throws you off, just like, remain grounded and remember that it's all for a reason there's a reason why that's happening so just kind of like let it pass like take it in let it pass and kind of like if that makes sense um not all messages are going to be for all aries but you know some will resonate with some and some with others so putting that out there i feel like aries you're <laughs> so random but I feel like you drink a lot. Like you've been drinking a lot. Like I wanna like rename this like tipsy tarot for you. <laughs> um, okay, so there's two major messages that I got while meditating on your energy. So first of all, though, actually three. The one is that you're number one. Like you are number one, no matter what you're number one, you're coming in as number one and that's just, it is what it is. You're number one. The other thing is, okay, so if I had to describe an Aries or describe you, I feel like you're like a Tootsie Pop. Okay. And I feel like how this works is like you have like this outer shell that's like super hard and this inner being of yourself that's like really soft, really emotional, like very sensitive right but it's you know how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop so <laughs> so i feel like part of this has to do with you and and how you have to help other people get to know you right so like let's say you're female jeffrey comes along and you know he licks a lollipop 50 times and doesn't get to the center it's like He's SOL. He's shit out of luck. Like, he doesn't get the chance to know what an Aries is like, you know. And then George comes along and he takes 125 licks and he doesn't get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. And you kind of blame George for not getting to the center or getting to know you, right? But then all of a sudden, like, you know, Kyle comes along and, right, saying you're female. And all of a sudden they're like, well, screw the licks. I'm going to take a big bite. And all of a sudden they bite and they get to the center and... And now all of a sudden, like, they reach the center of the Tootsie Pop and it hurts. Like, now you're hurt by Kyle and it's Kyle's fault. Like, I feel like there's a lot of blame that's being put upon other people for not understanding how to get to know you. So, if that resonates with you, I feel like the best way to combat that is to help people understand how to get to know you. So, what is it that 
they're not getting. How many licks does it take to get to the center of an Aries Tootsie Pop? <laughs> you know, like, like, and what is that outer shell about? And, you know, like, maybe, like I said in the beginning, you know, it took 50 licks, but maybe it was only going to take 55 to get to the center. Like, you, I feel like you need to be the one to help people to understand you as opposed to judging them for not knowing you or judging them for hurting you because they're getting to you too fast. Um, but it's not your fault necessarily that you have the outer shell. Like, I feel like you've been through a lot, so there's a reason why you have it. But you have to delicately help people get to know you in some ways. Because I feel like you're like the ice queen. Like, you are sharp. You are, like, just cutthroat and very, like, don't fuck with me. But people don't, like, it puts their guard up, right? But you don't mean to do it. So, I feel like there's definitely like a middle ground that has to be had between you and the other people that you're dealing with. Um, that was the first message I was getting. Did I mention that I feel like you guys drink a lot? I feel like you guys drink so much. Every time I do your guys' reading, I feel like Aries, you drink so much. Like, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Like, Aries is getting drunk, they're having fun, they're partying. Like, and it's fun. Like, I feel fun. I feel like you guys have fun within yourselves. And I feel like that's awesome. I feel like not a lot of people can do that. Like, I've been having a lot of fun, like, being in your energy and, like, enjoying it. Like, I can enjoy myself as an Aries just being an Aries. So that's really cool because sometimes, like, just any other sign, like, they might be getting, like, depressed or overly thinking. But, like, you guys sort of just, like, with that card kind of help yourself like you're like fuck it <laughs> fuck it you know so excuse my language but like i feel like that's the way that it is okay so the second major message that i was getting for you guys was i was seeing like a puzzle and hold on let's take a sip kind of remind me of frozen <laughs> So I feel like with you guys, I saw this puzzle, right? And it's like a thousand piece puzzle. And let's say you're missing anywhere from five to 20 pieces of this puzzle, right? So you have a couple holes in this puzzle. And part of what's going on is that like you're focusing more on the pieces of the puzzle that are missing. You're like, where's that puzzle piece? Why isn't it here? You go look in your closet. It's not there. You look in your sock drawer. It's not there. You look in your pocketbook. It's not there. You look in your shoe. It's not there. Because it's being moved around on purpose. Because the point is to actually see the puzzle for what it is. You don't need... Now you have, let's say, 900 and... 80 pieces there out of a thousand puzzle piece you can see the whole picture for what it is but you're focusing on what's not there and I think the lesson that has to be learned is that you need to focus on what is actually being seen you don't need those missing puzzle pieces to see the whole picture like not to be cliche but you need to be able to see it for what it is without what's missing because essentially nothing's missing for you to see the whole picture. Do you see what I'm saying? And when you stop looking for those pieces, you're actually going to find them. And they're not even going to be worth anything at the end of the day. So whatever you're looking for isn't worth it or isn't part of what it is that you need to be whole, if that makes sense. Um, so that was a huge message. message. <laughs> a huge message. So... It's funny because I was, after I got that message, I was looking for, I really wanted like my gold tube so bad. First of all, you guys are having a hard time like making, I don't want to say making a decision on something, but, but like being firm in the decisions that you make. So you know what you want. But you're not sticking to it. I think that makes sense. And I feel like you guys have been suppressing like a lot of your feelings. 
and it's been sort of weighing down on like like you have a lot of power like I feel like if I could describe an Aries right now I feel like it's 90% or 88 or 85% happiness and then the rest is like negativity but like you're not even focusing on that negativity but it seems to kind of be like coming in to say hey it's like oh by the way I'm here and you're like okay but I don't really want to deal with you right now but in some sense or some form you're supposed to have to deal with it and not that you have to be happy 100% of the time but you're supposed to understand that it's there just to be there because you need light and dark and dark and light and, and everything to contrast each other but you have to I, I don't know I feel like it's more of an acceptance like there's a lot of accepting going on accepting things just accepting it for what it is and how it is the way it is etc um I had a lot of fun being in your energy today. Like, I, I really did. I was like, wow, Aries really wants to be number one. Like, you are coming out as number one. Like, whether you want to come out as number one or whether you thought about it, that is definitely what the energy is for you. It's like, you might not even know you're number one and you're number one. So I would definitely own that number oneness of yourself. I was getting this earlier, the Queen of Wands. So just as a clarifier, like you're fire, you are fire, you are the queen of wands, it's you. Like I feel like you're wholesome, you're, you are who you are, you're within yourself, you're loving yourself to the best that you can and the parts of yourself that you're not understanding, like you're sort of focusing on it but you're actually learning not to focus on it and seeing the bigger picture of everything. I've loved this, like... I think I'm gonna do an Aries part two because I feel like there's two parts to something like there's a part of you that's getting it and there's a part of you that's sort of like lingering like I feel like there's a way that you need to inter intermingle both of them I feel like there could be some sort of a heartbreak going on like I just pulled up the three of swords all right so we're gonna do Aries part one and Aries part two all right I love you